And once again, if you missed uh, the results from last week, we saw Kuwaiti Gaming Lounge in the final. Of course, getting past uh, Limbs Entertainment in the semis. It was quite, uh, quite an entertaining uh, semi-final between those two ending 6-4 on aggregate. And a v an even more entertaining one in this second semi-final. Talked about Don Bashra giving Horizon a run for their money. But now Limbs, of course, find themselves in the final. And uh, Kuwaiti for the first time dropping down to the third place playoff. So once again, number two versus number four. Who will get maximum points? Given the run of results so far, once again, you'd say uh, Kuwaiti are the, the favorites. But Don Bashra on their day, I think, can beat anyone in this league. Uh, they're, they're much earlier against... Uh, oh, the commentary is still on. They're, mu they're, they're much earlier against... Um, uh, Limbs Entertainment just was one of their worst performances so far. Uh, but if they can play the way they did against Horizon last week, I think they they have a very good chance of, of getting themselves third place here. Getting themselves two points, take themselves up to fourth. We can see here uh, Don Bashra just uh, sorting out the squad a little bit, making sure the settings are in order. Should be seeing another pause from them. But yeah, this should be a very interesting game. Majengo versus Buruburu. Mombasa representing Mombasa at the bottom of the table as it stands. Of course, the top two lounges in the in the league make it into the finals. But right now they're just playing for points. Don Bashra Gaming Lounge versus Kuwaiti Gaming Lounge. And we are off. Kuwaiti Gaming Lounge playing from left to right in the blue kit. And that blue kit, we saw them playing in the second leg against Horizon. They're already bearing down. And be looking to put, pick themselves back up after that negative result against Horizon in the semis. He's in the same squad they had before. See a lot of the same players. Leon Goretzka, Didier Drogba, Raul, Kenny Dalglish, Michael Lessian. They're in possession right now, firmly in control as at the minute. Patient build up from them, looking for some clear passes. Bit sloppy there, looking for the lob through pass to Dalglish. He was running away from goal. Now Don Bashra finally get a touch of the ball. Again, Don Bashra on their day, capable of beating anyone in this league. They got to a very, very bad start in the semis and they could concede again here. Big save from the keeper who seemed to step a bit further to his right. It looked like there was a, he left a big gap in the near post. But uh, he made the save. But here come Kuwaiti Zambrota on the right wing. Very poor pass there. Very poor decision. Not entirely sure what the idea was there. Maybe he was looking for a cutback. But um, I was very, very poorly executed. Again, I'm pretty sure in terms of the meta of FIFA, it's much, you have much more of a chance to score from a cutback rather than crossing it in. But in that instance, that was not well done at all. But here's Raul again for Kuwaiti. Coming down the right wing, but he's pushed off by Trent Alexander-Arnold. And Bashra playing it up for a corner, though. They've been looking a bit out of sorts so far. Kuwaiti have been dominating so far. And here's Nkunku again. Saved there by uh, Donnarumma, I believe it is. 
Played short once again. Kweti looking to get themselves a goal early on. And he's Drogba dragging in the back. That should be another corner. That's three corners in a row for Kweti Gaming Lounge. And the cross this time is headed away by Don Bashra. Leandro Trossard on the ball. That's a very sloppy long pass there. And Kweti on the next right now. Michael Lessian with a shot. Donnarumma has been keeping Don, uh, Don Bashra in the game. They keep losing possession. They're letting Kweti walk all over them at the minute. Can't seem to be able to hold on to possession, but for too long. But Kweti uh, judged offside there. Marek Hamshik. And Bashra still haven't gotten anywhere close to Kweti's box yet. But it's still Dean Neil. They're still very much in the game. Yes, Trossard. Looking for the pass down. Oh my god, what a save. I was so sure that would end up in the back of the net. That was a big save there from the keeper. Perhaps could have gone for the far post there. But nonetheless, a very good save from the, the, the Kuwaiti keeper. I think it's Ian Oblak. Now two corners in a row this time for Don Bashra. Warren committing too many numbers forward. The cross headed out there. But now the ball in the feet of Aubameyang passes it to Campo. Nambashira not finding a way through as of yet. Neither team doing so yet. Let me see Nkunku with a cross to Dalglish. Oh my lord. What a finish. The crispy first touch finished straight past the keeper into the back of the net. It was bound to happen given the run of play so far. Kweti have been dominating. And they get themselves a deserved first goal in this third place playoff. So far looking very much a stronger team. And that was a very well executed play from them just then. And Don Bashra once again finding themselves in the back foot. They need to make something happen now. They don't have the luxury of a second leg. This one is one and done. Kenny Dalglish to Nkunku. Again to the final stages of the first half now. Kunku gets past the defender. It's Dalglish again, the goal scorer. Blasts it into the back of the net. Straight past Donnarumma. And Kweti Gaming Lounge are out for blood after that loss to Horizon in the semis. These are men who are out for blood. 2-0. Two, two goals in the space of five in-game minutes. Don Bashra in deep trouble already. As I said, no luxury of a second leg. And when you're two goals down in a game like this, it's, it's a tough situation to put yourself in. But here they are advancing once again. Obama Young back to Hamshik. And Obama Young once again. Kuwaiti keeping them out so far. Kevin Campo. Looking for Obama Young. Don Bashra. Looking for space to get themselves a goal, but it's a very good tackle there from Marcel Desai. Again, one of these several icons you we will be seeing in this league. We have been seeing. Good piece of skill there from Raul, another one of those icons. I'm not sure that's the prime icon Raul or not. Did he drogba? Oh my lord. I just, I just went silent for a minute there because I didn't know what to say. Drogba was just weaving his way through the defenders there. And ultimately puts it in the back of the net to make it 3-0 for Kweti Gaming Lounge. Buruburu, Tanonane representing. <clears throat> Mbashira in a very bad position indeed. They've been looking a shadow of themselves tonight. Been conceding quite a number of goals. Oh! oh! Oh my! For a second, I thought that was going to end up in the back of the net. Of course, you have to remember each of these lounges have about two players on their rosters. So perhaps it's uh, two different players Don Bashra fielded in these two weeks, but a, a huge gulf in their performances 
Uh, in these in these past two weeks, this should be the end of the first half. Three nil to Kuwaiti Gaming Lounge at the end of the first half there. And uh, Don Bashra again in a lot of trouble. Having uh, only caught a glimpse of the stats there, but we saw, I think, three shots, one on target for Don Bashra. Kuwaiti have been in the driving seat in this third place playoff. Imposing themselves rather convincingly. Showing us why up until this point they'd been making the final. Their gatekeepers at the final are the ones who've sent them to the third place playoff this time. You can see Don Bashara trying to make some changes here. And jumping straight back in. His matches have been flowing quite well tonight. <laughs> it's a bit of juggling there from Don Bashara. They need three goals in this second half. And from there, it would only go to extra time, if I'm not mistaken. Either extra time or straight to penalties. I have to be remind. I think someone should remind me in the chat. But here, yeah, Don Bashara. Oh, progressing once again, decent shot there from Aubameyang, but not enough to trouble the keeper. Again, Don Bashra have been looking fairly toothless tonight across all their matches, the three matches they've played. Ha haven't been able to get too many clear-cut chances. And that's a very dangerous challenge there. That should have, I think, if I had to guess, that's a yellow card they've been given for that. If not, I'll be very surprised. But it's very quickly played on by uh, Kuwaiti. Could be another goal there from uh, Raul, but it's a good challenge there. Kuwaiti is, uh, I believe, the fourth or fifth corner of the game. Fifth, I believe. It's crossed in towards the head of Gianluca Zambrotta, but it's headed over the bar. And Don Bashara can have some space to breathe again. See Verbich here who came very close for Don Bashara in the first half. Pretty much point blank range. Producing a, a, an excellent save from Jan Oblak for Kuwaiti. But here they come once again. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. That Verbich chance was the best chance of the game they've had so far. And be trying to get themselves a goal uh, once again. Ronaldo dispossessed. Ball in the p in possession of uh, Michael Essien once again. Leon Goretzka. Looking for Raul. He's dispossessed once again by Trent Alexander-Arnold. And Bashra... Sticking to their guns, not trying to force anything, but they know time is not on their side. Here's Verbic again. Oh my lord, how has he missed that? Verbic was the man that came close earlier in the first half. <coughs> and that was probably the best chance Don Bashra might have in this game. And they've squandered it completely. Wide of the far post. You can see they're making some changes here. Changing the formation to a 4 4 1 1. I'm going to switch a few things up. That man on the right wing there, Verbich, has been the danger man for them so far. And he'd expect it to be Ronaldo or Bameyang. <clears throat> the big chances have fallen to Verbich. But he hasn't been able to convert. Don Bashra win it back. At least temporarily, it's been given as a foul. And Kuwaiti are back in possession here with Rafa. Have the 95 rated Suarez brought in there once again for uh, Kuwaiti. And there he is on the ball. Rafa perhaps making it 4 for Kuwaiti. 
If they can get themselves a shot. And the pass isn't intercepted. Excuse me. But uh, Don Bash are giving the ball away very cheaply. That's a chip. Just wide of the far post there. And lucky for Kuwaiti. Would have made a 4-0 there. At this stage of the game, they won't mind it too much. We're approaching the 70th minute. And here's Ronaldo. Could make it 3-1. Blast it into the bottom corner. And Don Bashira, just like that, could have bought them, put themselves back in the game. We've seen the likes of Lim score three goals in the space of five in-game minutes. If Kuwaiti are not careful, the same could happen to them. They need to stay on toes. And get themselves another goal just to ensure their safety. And here they come once again. Corona. Playing it back to Leon Goretzka. And they're doing well with their patient build-up. Running down the clock at the same time. Bit of game management from them. But here's Nkunku to Rafa. Wide of the post again. But as I'm saying, perhaps the patient build-up from Kuwaiti now is just a bit of game management. And to run down the clock a bit as they look for a chance to get another goal. But here come Don Bashra once again. Ronaldo, phenomenal. Perhaps getting past the defender. Looking for some clear-cut chances. Campo, his shot is blocked. Up in the air and eventually in the hands of Yano Black. Kuwaiti still 3-1 up. Getting the through pass to Rafa. Rafa's missed two big, big chances already. Tried to square to Corona, who was just a bit too wide. But again, they'd be happy just to eat a few minutes as they try to recreate that chance. Luis Suarez to Rafa again. <clears throat> and to get past his man, he does so. Tries to square to Corona. A shot there. Keeper temporarily spilled it, but he eventually pounces onto it. Donnarumma there for Don Bashra, but they've given it right back to Kweti. Corona on the edge of the 18. Looking for Rafa. Some interesting skills there from the Kweti boys. The square pass is once again intercepted. We're headed towards the 90th minute. Don Bashira don't have much time left. And if I had to guess, there's, not, there's hardly going to be any added time after the 90th minute. They need to make something happen, and they need it now. As it stands, they'll be getting one point once again. Finishing fourth for the third tournament in a row. But here's Aubameyang, 3-2. It's 3-2. Don Bashra are not out of it just yet. It's the 90th minute. Oh my, oh my. Some last minute drama perhaps. Don Bashra have just made things very interesting. Especially if we can see a good chunk of added time. Whether that will be the case remains to be seen. Don Bashra fighting to the bitter end. I've, I've been talking about them not playing their best tonight, but... What they've continued to show is a lot of fight. And they still have a chance to potentially equalize and, and take the game further. And I think Kuwaiti here will be doing their best just to run down the clock. I don't know how many added minutes there are. Two minutes of added time. Don Bashar have played it out for throw-in. There's Corona again. I think Kuwaiti are going to be just be running down the clock here. Don Bashra get the ball, perhaps the last attack of the game. They're going to need a goal from this. Here's Ronaldo. Don Bashra cannot afford to waste his chance here. Verbich. He's had two big chances in the game so far. He's wasted them. Gets past the defender. This could be 3-3. Kuwaiti managed to win the ball back and that should be the end of the game. Oh my lord. Don Bashra gaming lounge. So unlucky there. With the final chance of the game. Unable to convert and... Because of that, getting themselves one point yet again. Mombasa representing Mombasa, Don Bashara. Going up to three points on the log, staying bottom. Buruburu 
Kuwaiti Gaming Lounge representing that area, getting two points. So going up to eight. So as it stands, both teams maintaining their current place in the standings. Buruburu still in second. Don Bashra still in fourth. A valiant effort from them. You have to commend them. They haven't played their best tonight, but they've still shown a lot of fight yet again. It was a very valiant effort from them. But unfortunately for them, they have been consigned to fourth place once again.